Technique number three for our first brown, Kempo Karate for Christ, is uh, circling destruction. And this is a left punch. You're actually going to see several techniques in this level for a left punch. In fact, you're, you're going to see almost this whole technique repeat itself in a two-man attack situation here in this level, just a few techniques from now. So you're going to see a little bit of repetition within the level itself before we move on into black belt. Um, as we said, when we're going into brown belt, you're going to start to see, rather than brand new ideas, starting new applications to ideas you've already seen. Um, with the stakes go up because you've got more than one attacker sometimes or a weapon involved, but not introducing new concepts necessarily, but starting to stream concepts together. Uh, so this first one, so that you know the concept, so that then we can then show another application for it later. Uh, it's going to be a left punch. We're doing a left step through punch, coming straight in. And we're going to use a windmill defense. In fact, in our kids' class, this is the technique that is the base for uh, the windmill uh, one step sparring technique that we have. So we're stepping forward, we're doing an inward parry with the right and an outward parry or outward hooking parry with the left. So I'm going right left here, one hand and the other, windmill idea. And I'm going to continue that circle with an outward whipping back fist underneath the arm to the abdomen. All right, that's step one. Inward, outward, back fist. All in one step, all in one count as you move forward. Boom. Now from here, I'm going to rear cross, come in behind him. And as I do, this arm that's above his, his arm, resting on top, is going to slide up his arm, and we're going to heel palm. Strike to the face as you cross around behind him. And I'm going to reach up, and I'm going to check around to his right shoulder because I don't want him to turn. I'm moving behind him, and if he's sensitive to that, he'll start to turn to face you, right? So we hit him in the face, and we check that right shoulder so they can't turn to face us. And this arm, if you hit him in the back, with the back fist, it's going to circle around, the right hand circles around. We're going to unwind this twist stance to face the back corner here, what would be our 730 line. Now you're behind him, and you're going to hand sword coming over the shoulder, hitting to uh, where the right shoulder and neck come together, boom, from behind, right? So, I windmill block, back fist, rear cross, I'm coming behind him, heel palm and check, and unwind as this circles, hand sword from behind, hitting him in the shoulder. Now I'm going to come fish hook, right, checking his chin, I'm doing like a chin lift, here, grabbing his chin with the right hand from behind, and at the same time, my right foot's going to come up between his legs, and I'm going to scoop kick while I hook the chin. And then from there, full cover out, and that will go to the front diagonal or to our 130 direction. Right, I forget the line they're on at 730, 130. So again, left punch comes in. I'm stepping in inward, outward, back fist. Rear cross as I heel palm and I check. This hand circles. I unwind, hand sword to the shoulder and neck here. I'm reaching over, grabbing the chin, fish hooking. Under the chin as I pull back, with the chin lift, and I scoop at the same time. And then pull cover out to one third. That's circling destruction again. Circling destruction. Scoops and out. Right. That's technique number three for the first brown Kimbo Karate for Christ.